welcome back. We are on the 12 days of live stream. I believe, I think we're on day eight, eight or nine, one of those. It's just, I don't know, it's like all a whirlwind in my brain right now. Um, so welcome everyone. Um, if you're here, let us know where you're here from. Let us know in the chat where you're here from. Uh, so today we're doing more fun with beeswax. I love me some beeswax. Yesterday we did some uh, beeswax uh, wraps, and today we're doing some more beeswax fun. We're just we're going to be making some beeswax sewing cakes. So basically, what you would use to um, uh, wax your thread. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to go pretty quickly because my setup here it really isn't keeping my beeswax as hot as it needs to. So um, let me go ahead and bring up uh, my hands here so you can see what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. It's very blurry, but anyway, so we're making some beeswax. So I have beeswax pellets. You don't have to use pellets. You can use a block. And uh, if you use a block, you'll just have to grate it in order to get it to melt. And I melted this actually on my stove in my kitchen. And I just, what I do is like a double broiler basically, but I've got it in some water. The glove so warm, don't burn myself. So I just use, um, I have one container and I have put it in some boiling water and allow it to melt. And uh, I was trying to keep it warm here, but it's it's it just isn't hot enough. So we got to work pretty quickly. So it's really easy. Just find. So I'm using silicone molds, and these are some pretty uh, leaves that I found that I really liked. And then I have my skulls. I I love skulls, so you know it's a fun thing I do. And then these are just some generic. I've got some generic uh, little cylinders and. And uh, so this is an ice cube tray. I got this one at Daiso. So the thing is you want to, uh, silicone has, seems to work the best. Uh, so that's what um, I'm using today. And it is, this is the super easy thing. So you put it into any container. You want a container that you're not, base, it's really hard to get the beeswax out when it's, once it's in there. So you're gonna want to have a dedicated uh, container for this. So keep that in mind. And I like something that has a little bit of a pour spout. And you just put it into a pot with some boiling water. Oh, see, yeah, this is not hot enough in here. So I may need to remelt these and but I can show you what to do. <laughs> all right, flying by the seat of our pants here. All right, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna care be careful because I don't want to get any water into the wax because like chocolate, it will freeze it up. It'll seize it and then it won't pour. So then once I do that, I'm just gonna pour it into some of my molds here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this little maple leaf. We'll do another skull. See, it is just not cooperating with me. And we'll just do, ah! uh, so. Easy, right? So now you just have to wait for it to cool off. And this is kind of a little fun thing to do. Uh, I used all my wax though. So what you can do is, come over to here. Hello. All right, there we go. <laughs> it gets really far behind. I don't know why I don't get really good connection with that. A terrible connection. Come on. I'm just going to bring this up solo. All right, so what I'm going to do, while it's still a little bit warm, I'm going to take a little piece of, of this is just some, uh, you know, twine. And while it's still a little bit warm, I'm going to put it on top of it and just kind of push it in. carefully without burning myself. So I'll use a little utensil. And then get my beeswax to melt enough. <laughs> Normally what I would do is I would pour another little bit of beeswax over the top of that to finish it off so that it has a nice little 
um, handhold. But my my uh, my uh, beeswax is not uh, hot enough anymore. I tried. I tried. I'll have to come up with a different setup for this. So then once that's all done, you just unmold it. And that's it. This is now ready to be used. It's still warm, so you want to let it cool off. Um, and here is one of the leaves I did earlier. See how pretty that is? Pretty pretty, and it has its little hold, a little thing you can hold it by. And then as far as like packaging this up, um, you could just put it in a little piece of uh, linen. Uh, you could get yourself a little uh, linen bag. What did I do with that? You, know, you could just wrap it up in a little piece of linen like that. You know, I love putting things in linen and just tie it up in a little bow. I had a little cute little bag, so we're just going to use linen for now. You could just tie it up. It's a cute way to give things. And it's a great way to use up scraps, too. It's one of the things I've, I try to do. Like, I, I like to use uh, fabric scraps for, um, for gift wrap as well. It's just, it's really fun. Actually, my cousin, uh, funny enough, it's my cousin who I was kind of named after. She is... My, da my dad comes from a family, he's one of 12. And so she is the daughter of his oldest sister. And I know this is completely off topic, but <laughs> it's kind of an interesting story. So she's the one that taught me to use old fabric for wrapping things up. But she, um, she's my dad's oldest uh, sister's daughter. And so when I was, she was basically, I think she was in her twenties when, when I was born. And one of her favorite songs was a song called Lelania by Donovan. And, uh, and that was her favorite song. And her and my parents were really close. So they named, I was inadvertently named after her. So it's kind of a cool little story. But here we go. This is today's gift, you know, and you could do all sorts of them. I love my little skull that I have here. Um, let's see if this one is ready to come out yet. These ones are a little bigger, so it takes a little bit more time. It's a little, just a little cake. A little beeswax cake super super easy like you could have a bunch of these done and ready to go in no time um so oh well, we've got alaska here and florida oh, it's chilly in florida it's chilly here too surprisingly so yeah you know, hj is here hi everybody good to see you um so yeah today's craft or i don't, I don't know if it's necessarily her, our little handcraft i'll call that handcraft was super easy um yeah my i'm gonna be doing some more beeswax um i think the last day i have another beeswax thing so i'll have to set up for that um but one of the i think it's uh tomorrow we're going to be doing something with a few of the things that we have made so i can show you a way to put this all together i'm gonna be doing like a little garb repair kit uh so something that you can keep with you to repair your clothing and costume when you are um when you're out and about at an event or something. We've got Amanda from Kentucky. Nice, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, so yeah, so have you guys ever made any beeswax uh, crafts or any beeswax sewing cakes? They're just, you know, it's really nice. You know, I love my, you know, I love waxing my thread. It's, it's something I do. If you haven't seen my video and seen how I do it, you should check that out. Um, these take a little bit to cool, so you wanna make sure I made the mistake of if you press into it too soon, it'll blurp all over your hands. So I did a little experiment here. I wonder if this is going to work. I took, because so I was thinking, how would they have done this in the 16th century? So I just happened to have a shell lying around. Let's see if I can get this out. I don't know if it'll release, though. That was the only thing I wasn't sure about. I don't think it'll release. I have to figure something out, because I think that would be an interesting thing. Or maybe... You could just put the beeswax in there and just keep it there. 
can still use it like a cake. So I don't know, something that I was thinking about. It was actually inspired because I, when I was uh, looking at these silicone molds, they actually had some shells too. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, so, um, all right, uh, American Samoa. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's really cool. Awesome. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I know I have been. Um, it's really been stretching my creativity and I totally, totally love that. So um, we've got a few more days left and uh, we'll have fun. All right. Well, that's all I have for today. So I hope you enjoyed today's little, um, little moment. Um, I don't know. Our handcraft today. Um, so, all right. This is me signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.